battling with sexual immorality here and there, and you are still watching Sex Live on Netflix, you are still watching content that is tagged sex and explicit, and you are saying, I'm trying my best, I'm praying to God to help me take this thing away. But the more you pray, the more you go and watch content that will be giving you unnecessary harassment. And you're not saying, ah, this thing is so hard. It's going to be hard. Because you all, you, you people think that faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. You think, oh, it is just it's by Bible or by, by godly messages. No, it's about your content. Your content, my dear, your content is wrong. It's wrong. That's why it looks like it is hard because you're, you're not filtering your content. I mean, you're struggling with some sexual things. You're struggling with, you know, being chased. You're struggling with these things. You're watching movies that would, that would take your thoughts in that light. See, these things do not work in silos. You have to make sure that once you are ready to obey God, to work with God, to do His will, you must stop all these things. Yes, you have to start watching your content. And this is what this video is about. Let's go. Once again, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Onosasi and this is Salvation Therapy. Ah, my new subscribers, you guys are the real MVP. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for liking my channel. And um, you are not going to regret this. And to my OGs, the already subscribed people, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content. I do not take your love for granted. Ah, so I thought to share this with us, you know, according to the leading of the Holy Spirit, how some of us feel like our content do not matter in the part of you know building our faith with in god and with god so you see people watch things that they should usually and regularly not watch and you know they go about now saying they're struggling with this they're struggling you are going to struggle it's not not a curse you are going to struggle you're going to struggle because you are not filtering your content you're going to struggle because you have not you know sanctified your heart with your content Okay, so you see people who are um, struggling with sex or who are struggling with one thing or the other. For In this video, and I'm going to use um, the sexual immorality as the base point, yeah? And you see people who are struggling, you know, with sexual immorality and all of that. And then they are watching things that would, you know, arouse them the more. They are watching things that will make them want to do those things that they do not want to do. And then you're not wondering, oh, the things I want to do, I, 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 I'm not doing them. The one I don't want to do, not start misquoting, you know, Apostle Paul in a different light. No, um, that's not how you do it. There's so many things that you need to be careful about because what you take inside of you is what you're going to exhibit. Um, in Yoruba, they will say that in Kotia Yemba Jeluman Befo, that's what you have inside of you is what you're going to, that's going to sustain you. That's what that means. So, if you don't have the word, if you don't have um, purity inside of you, you are not going to exhibit purity. If you don't have chastity inside of you, you are not going to exhibit chastity. So you watch videos that you know are sexually appealing and you are not married. If you were married, it's a different thing. You are not married. And you, you, you wonder where your sex arousal is coming from, where the urge to just want to sleep with somebody, to just want to touch somebody, to just want to suck somebody is coming from. You are wondering where it's coming from. It is not alien to you. It is what you have been taking inside of you and one thing that happens with your content is that it is when you think that you don't have it that it comes out it always, always waits for manifestation this is why what we watch is very important the media is important film is important what you read is important the skits you watch is important because i'm not even going to lie to you a lot of these kids they promote so much you know sexual stuff nyash boobs all of them everything boom boom everything that's what they do so you have to cut what you watch you have to um scrutinize what you watch and let me tell you don't tell me that these things are just for they're just fun they're just for laughs 
they're not just for laughs because they are entering into your body they're entering into your spirit man it is what a man takes inside of him that contaminates him so it is what you're taking inside of you that is contaminating the way you reason contaminating the way you you, you, you do things okay so that's why you must be very careful what you watch it is not just for laughs because these things go into your residue they go into a part of your spirit and before you know it, you start exhibiting what you are not supposed to exhibit as a child of god so what do you do you have to filter what you watch you have to filter what you read you have to filter what you see you have to make sure that whatever it is that you are taking in will not contaminate your mind will not contaminate your thoughts you have to check your conversation you know i've seen a lot of christians say eh, well well there's so many christian content they're not so interesting why do you know interesting it's your mind you know you have been so contaminated to believe that interesting should be put in a particular kind of way yeah you have contaminated you've been so contaminated in your mind to feel like oh this is what interesting is okay you've been so contaminated to feel like oh because it is love they have to take off their clothes they have to you know do what they want to do but we have you know love stories love stories that you know you know they're in love but they don't have to necessarily touch they don't have to necessarily uh, you know kiss and all of that we have so many content like that on on youtube you know I'm, I'm not sure about netflix but i know that there's so many content like that on youtube so many christian youtube channels for films there's so many christian youtube channels you know that can help you gain sanity get you know um sanctification that can help you sanctify your mind okay so you must be very careful it can be interesting but once that sex part is about maybe you fast forward it or you don't even watch it at all that's the best way you can do to help yourself that's the best way to help yourself that's the best way to uh, see that you are being you know you're under the guardians of the holy spirit every time so do not say hey, it's not interesting we have been boxed we have been so contaminated to feel like oh this is what interesting is this is what interesting is not you know the world has given us what is interesting and what is not interesting so when we see our own content we say hey, it's not gang enough we say hey, it's not interesting enough okay so how about you also create your own content on what is interesting and what is not interesting yes but you need to know that the word of god is our base point the word of god is what we have to hold on to so i am coming here to let you know just in case you have been thinking about it but i'm here to let you know that your content is what is affecting your mind your content is what is affecting your mind so go and you know stop watching all those illicit you know um those sorry illicit i wouldn't say illicit the other time so all those illicit contents go and stop watching them start watching things that will help you you know let me tell you something all right my prayer life changed when i saw a movie right here on youtube called abedroy and um it's by the montayan film um ministries yeah my prayer life changed when i saw that movie because that movie exposed me i know that there is power in the name of the lord but that was like this raw manifestation that look i serve a very powerful god all i just have to do is go to him in prayer and let and talk to him on what i want because i saw god exhibit so much love in that movie and i'm telling you it changed my prayer it changed my prayer life completely now i look forward to praying to discussing with god to knowing that oh god is going to show up you know i was intrigued by some of the things god did you know through prayers in that movie he made me see my father in heaven as a, as a totally different person but that's a content that changed my prayer life that's the same way content changed our our thoughts our channels so if you go ahead and you're watching things that you're not supposed to watch, you're going to be exhibiting the things that you're not supposed to exhibit. So you have to watch your content. That way, what you, what is the way you're even going to be able to teach your children what to watch and what they shouldn't watch? Okay. And I hear people say that they want to learn. Look, you have the unction of the only one you know all things. You're an adult. In the aspect of kissing, in when it is time for you to marry, when it's time for you to meet up, you will, these things will come naturally. You don't have to be watching pornography to, to want to learn really you're a child of god you're watching porn how does that even help the holy spirit that lives inside of you i thank god that is i thank god that is not the spirit that condemns and our god is also not the god that condemns but shall we continue in sin that grace may abound we must know that our work of faith is very intentional and god has given us the path of choice you have to choose either good or evil either life or death and you have to choose life okay so we, we have to be intentional there are, there are things i cannot watch because i know they're not going to help me they're not going to feed me 
they're not going to they're just going to water me down these things have happened to me times without number okay just going to water me down i start thinking about things i shouldn't be thinking about but so for someone like me that i love the good life okay sometimes when i overwatch all these you know reality tv shows or you know or money or riches and every i will start thinking wait ah, ah. god let me just have this money let me just have this money ah they will know but that's not the that's not the thought that's not how i'm supposed to think i'm not supposed to have money so that they will know of course my money will speak but i'm supposed to have money so that i can give so that i can take care of people so that i can you know be doing the the kingdom's work i'm going to take care of myself i'm going to enjoy myself but not like i want to be so desperate and then before you know it frustration steps steps in i don't know if you can relate frustration steps in you start feeling these people did they have two s no did they have five no's no because you've watched something that has triggered you to start feeling like you are late in life to start feeling like oh there is something wrong with you actually there's nothing wrong with you that's why you have to be very careful what you watch, who you follow, because whatever enters in, into you contaminates you. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. I want us to continue the gist in the comment section. Let me know, you know, how you have struggled with your content, what you are doing to, you know, evolve correctly in the part of faith concerning your content, because it is important that we filter our content. I missed affirmation in the last video. I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to do it now. Okay, so let's do our affirmation. In the name of Jesus, I receive the ability to control myself. I receive the Spirit of God to discern what is good for me and what is not good. I receive the Spirit of God to do what is right at all times, even when I do not feel like it. I will grow. I will shine. I will excel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to like it. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to share. I'll see you again in the next one.